Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Professor Atman Shah. I teach economics at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad, India. In this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between one-way and two-way ANOVA. To find more videos on statistics, SPSS and economics, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. And don't forget to uh, press the bell icon. So let's begin with the idea of ANOVA. ANOVA means analysis of variance, but we compare means. It is widely used a statistical tool in social sciences, especially economics. The ANOVA was developed by British uh, statistician Sir Ronald Fisher. The F ratio or the test statistic that we compute when we use one way or two way ANOVA is based on F distribution, and this distribution is named after uh, Sir Ronald Fisher. In ANOVA, we have total variation, and this total variation is bifurcated into two parts. The first is variation within groups, and second is variation between groups. Now let's understand this uh, variation with the help of example. Suppose we have three groups, group one, group two, and group three. Let's take 10, 15, and 11 as the group means of one, two, and three, and the grand mean is 12. So the mean of group one is 10, the mean of group two is 15, and mean of group three is 11, and the grand mean is 12. And what is total variation? Total variation is the difference between observed value and total mean. So here in group one, the observed value is six and uh, total mean is 12. So total variation is six minus 12, which is equal to minus six. Suppose for group two, it is three minus 12 or for group three, it is nine minus 12. Now between variation shows the difference between the group means and the total mean. So mean of group one is 10, the total mean is 12, so it is 10 minus 12 is equal to minus two. Similarly for group two, it is 15 minus 12, and for group three, it is 11 minus 12. Variation within uh, groups is the difference between observed value and group mean. So observed value is six, this six falls in group one, so the mean of group one is 10, so it is six minus 10, which is equal to minus four. Similarly for group two, it is three minus the mean of group two, that is 15. So this is how we can uh, show or examine the total variation and the bifurcation of total variation into variation within groups and variation between groups. Now, what are the common factors in one way and two way ANOVA? The first common factor is both uh, tests are parametric tests, which means that the normality assumption is required to perform or to use one way and two way ANOVA. Uh, as we discussed in the T statistic, the T test is also a parametric test. All T tests are parametric tests. And if you want to understand the difference between all T tests, you can find my video on uh, the comparison of all three T tests. You can find the link on, on your screen. Second common factor is variances of all independent groups are equal. Third is the random sampling. We uh, collect the data randomly from the population and that population is normally distributed. And fourth is observations are independent. These are some common factors uh, between one way and two way ANOVA. Now let's understand the comparison of one way and two way ANOVA. First, we are going to discuss the use of one-way and two-way ANOVA. So one-way ANOVA is used to compare the means of one independent nominal variable having two or more categories on one continuous field. For example, level of education. So first category is school pass out students, second category is graduate students, third category is postgraduate students. If we have only two categories, independent samples T test is used to compare means uh, uh, to know how to perform independent sample T test in SPSS. You can find the video and you can find the uh, link in the description. So one way ANOVA is used when we have more than two categories uh, in our nominal independent variable. Two way ANOVA is used to compare the means of two nominal independent variables on one continuous dependent variable. So in one way ANOVA, we have only one independent variable which is measured on nominal scale. In two way ANOVA, we have two nominal variables 
uh, which are measured on nominal scale. So that is why two-way ANOVA is known as two-way ANOVA because we have two factors, two nominal variables. And in one-way ANOVA, we have only one nominal factor and that is why it is known as one-way ANOVA or one factor ANOVA. Now, what is the effect? What, what are we measure? What are we going to measure with the help of one-way and two-way ANOVA? So one-way ANOVA examine the effect of one nominal variable on continuous dependent variable. That is obvious. In two-way ANOVA, we examine two effects. Main effects and separate effects. Main effects means the effect of one effect of each nominal independent variable on continuous dependent variable separate. So here it is written effect examine the effect of two nominal variables separately. That is main effects. And second effect is interaction effect, which may, which which measures the uh, effect of two nominal variables on one continuous variable simultaneously. So in one-way ANOVA, we have only one effect. In two-way ANOVA, we have two effects. Effects of effect of two nominal variables on continuous dependent variables uh, separately and simultaneously both. Let's understand it with the help of example. Suppose we want to study the effect of level of education and annual income. So here we have one nominal variable that is level of education, which has more than two categories, school, UG and PG. So we are going to use one day ANOVA. Suppose we have only two categories, UG and PG, then we are going to use independent samples T days. Uh, keep in mind that independent sample T days and one day ANOVA generate the same result when we have two categories. Two way ANOVA is used to study the effect of level of education and gender on annual income. So here we have two nominal variables, level of education and gender both. And uh, we examine the effects of these two nominal variables separately and simultaneously on our continuous dependent variable that is annual income. So this is how we can compare one way and two way ANOVA. If you find this video useful, kindly share it with others and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. Thank you.